Really? Just as I'm getting ready to start filming, an airplane goes above the sky. Hello, friends. It's me, Graham. I know, it's been a while, huh? I'm getting some facial hair going on. Huh. Um, I made a mess. Look at all that, all that uh, blue stuff that you see down there, inside that wet mark. <laughs> uh, that's all barrels. So, <clears throat> this is going to be the new entrance to the yard. Um, this is going to uh, have a gate in between those two barrels. There will be a fence from that barrel to the corner of the shop or the garage over there. I'm gonna build a real nice fence in there. And then I'm gonna build a fence that goes across here as well, I think. There'll be an opening. Um, let me see where those bricks are laying down. There'll be an opening right there and then there'll be a fence again. And then this whole area here where the, the trampoline is, is going to be for the dogs to go pee and poop and do what dogs grossly do. And that's what's going to be their space. Then the trampoline next year, so we're going to, it's not going to be here. Um, we are going to take out that apple tree, that apple tree, and most likely that pear tree. Um, they're really old. Um, they've got a lot of dead spots on them. They're not very healthy. We've had a lot of issues with parts of them breaking and that kind of stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, and the apple tree is just, it's really gross. It's not even a good apple tree. Uh, it's almost like a, um, yellow transparent or just a really crummy, uh, golden delicious. It, doesn't last it rots really fast it doesn't have really any flavor to it it's just a gross tree so and the tree itself is trash so it's going and i think the pear tree is going too because the wood and the pear tree is um all the branches and stuff are all breaking so we're thinking we're gonna put the trampoline there so that'll be a really good spot for the trampoline because then from the kitchen window we can see the kids playing on the trampoline and if I put a gate here and I keep the dogs from destroying my grass, maybe I can actually have grass next year. And they don't really spend a whole lot of time in the backyard playing or doing anything anyways, other than really beating the crap out of each other. So it's just a spot for them to go potty. We still go on walks and all that kind of stuff. But So I got these barrels given to me a while ago. I wish I could get more, but unfortunately that contact, it doesn't exist anymore. I'd love to have like 50 of these things, if not more, but so I cut the top out. I cut a huge hole in, I don't know if you can see that. You cut a huge hole in the bottom of them. Um, so I'm going to fill these full of dirt. They'll be solid. And then I'll put the gate on them and, uh, that'd be great. Actually, that'd be really cool. I don't know what I'll plant in them. Probably change from year to year. Uh, they'll um, eventually end up getting cladded with the wood on them. Um, and then I'm going to build, I think, a cedar fence here. I was thinking about putting a gate in the middle as well. And then that way I can have quicker access to the chickens. But I haven't quite decided if that's what I'm going to do yet or not. I still have plenty of time to think about it. These three barrels, I still have to cut the tops and bottoms out of them. Um, so I still have a few barrels to play with. And I, we haven't done anything outside, so the weeds just took off this year. That's a big pile of mess back there that needs to get disposed of. So this is a, the fire pit. I'm looking actually about 22 more of these bricks. Um, so each layer of bricks, I think I what was it, eight, I think? Yeah, I think there's eight bricks in total. Was that four? Yeah, eight, eight bricks in total. I'm going to do another layer, and then I'm going to do a partial layer, and then a smaller layer, and a small, until there's just one up on top. It's going to be kind of cool. 
um, and that way it'll shield it completely from the wood chips behind as well which is not like they're gonna burn anyways or you rake them back see I did that about two hours ago I raked it back and it's still dark it's wet um, you go to below the surface and it's just instant wet so that'll be the fire pit and then all of this um, all the weeds are gonna get pulled and the busted ones are gonna come out all the bricks that are busted are gonna come out um, and then we're gonna put um, the uh, sand in between them and really turn it into a nice old patio I still plan on doing the cedar fencing um, around the barrels just it's a time issue I just have been working so many hours that I just don't have a whole lot of time and when I do have time I don't have the energy to come out here <laughs> which is a really big problem um, just just I gotta figure it out so um, that green post the last one closest to us to that barrel will be their little poo area I think um, that way they don't have access to the fire pit it'll be close to it but not on top of it so here's three more barrels here that are cut top and bottoms and then can't wait to open this all up uh, there's these two here are gonna get full of fill of dirt fill of, fill of, fill of, fill of, fill of dirt and then those um, those three down there the two um, that are down there those are facing this I'm not gonna add any more on this side of it so there's only gonna be two and then the gap is gonna get a fence uh, in between the barrels so be from this side to that side there'll be like a little a fence in there sort of is what I'm thinking but I don't know if I'm gonna do that or if I'm gonna use um, the carport metal carport frame and make like another little private patio back here behind it so we'll see and then of course where the light blue barrel is um, all the way across to the white fence is what I'm thinking I'm gonna have to get a lot more but that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna fence that off with the blue barrels and then this uh, or that side of the blue barrels I'm gonna use the cedar fencing and go up higher not too much but I want to go up so it's you know at least you know I height or a little bit higher and then all of the blue barrels or all the barrels that are on the property line are all gonna get some sort of evergreen shrub I think um, that grows up um, not so much out but more up uh, can't be anything super crazy and massive but I'm thinking something to kind of build like a screen eventually I'd like to take the barrels and go the other way down the property line as well and do kind of the same thing but for now who knows and then in between the opening um, of the dark blue barrels that opening there where I'm gonna put a fence the other thing I was thinking was putting if I don't do the arbor thing putting a um, um, on the fence putting a, uh, a, a grape bush grape vine so the grapes can cover that area that'd be kind of cool to help fence this in but I think a seating area I have this carport it's uh, 20 feet by I want to say 20 feet by 10 feet is how big this thing is and I'm thinking that I could put a carport over there and then grow the vine up over the carport so it kind of makes it a private area and put like four at each corner put a different um, grape vine and then it grows up over and then all four of them are different and the, the grapes will hang down of course put wire and that kind of stuff on it but maybe a private little seating area that's attached to the garden I think it'd be kind of cool so that's something I'm thinking um, tomatoes have been producing like crazy I uh, I've taken two of those large uh, yellow um, Tupperware bowls worth of tomatoes out of that already so absolutely crazy I can't believe it 
The um, uh, rose bush in the corner is doing fantastic. I'm going to let it just keep going. I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to take that little white fence out or leave it in there. That little teeny one. I'll probably leave it in there. But I want to put a row of tires in front of that fence. Probably three high. And that is going to be probably where my asparagus and that kind of stuff will go. But I'm not sure. Again, I'm just playing along, seeing what happens. I know that the fence right now is over here, but eventually it'll come off of the corner um, where the two, the white fence and the wood fence meet. Then the fence will come off the corner and it's going to meet up here at the, the last post or uh, last bucket. And there'll be a fence that goes in here. So it'll actually make that, that space over there bigger and the garden space a little bit smaller, but it's a plenty big enough garden space. So I'm going to put a real nice, I'm thinking about putting a real nice wooden fence in there, but I'm not sure. I'm also thinking about between the, the barrels, putting a, an, um, an arch over it. But again, I'm not 100% sure. I think a lot of this garden stuff, a lot of it is um, just kind of, kind of comes together as it comes together and I just kind of do it and whatever happens happens I'm just kind of playing along with it um kind of letting the garden tell me what it wants oh well, for instance see the tires over here I was like oh yeah the tires they totally want to build a wall there and and it would be cool but I don't know if that's exactly what I need to do or not. Um, but yeah, I'm like those two top ones that come down. They just be the three. And I like how they're offset just the littlest bit. I can plant stuff inside the openings. I'm seriously thinking about doing that. Like with, you know, along here as well. And then it'll curve around and make it kind of like a secret entrance to the garden. Is kind of what I'm thinking. So, yeah, see what I'm saying? They're, they're breaking off. So, I think this pear tree and this apple tree are going to go, which will open up this space. The trampoline can go here. Um, right here, we're going to end up putting in behind these, um, these tires, there's going to be a shed in here, which that's another thing. I don't know if there's going to be enough room. So, I'm going to wait on the tire Thing for right now but uh we're gonna end up putting a shed in here so this guy this tree here might even end up going i hope not hope i can thin it out enough so it's not so dense and we'll we'll see we're gonna play it all by ear but this is where the she shed's going and then i love how you walk through the tree i think it's kind of cool there'll be these are going to be cladded or something eventually, and there'll be a gate here. And then you walk in, and it's like, oh, this is all going to be secret garden. So I'm going to have a fountain or a pond or something over there. And, yeah, it's all going to get worked on and stuff's going to get done. These apples, if it didn't have the bug bites, these apples are actually really good apples. They taste really delicious. You know, lots of bug and bird, bird stuff. But they're actually a really good apple. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this. The only thing I don't like about apple trees, really, um, <laughs> is the apples on the ground. I'm having to pick them up. Nobody helps me. It's me and me only. That's it. I don't get help from... I don't get help from anybody, honestly. Kids don't help. Wife, I love her. So, uh, yeah, that's really dense. And I'm going to thin the heck out of that. Um, This is a big pile of brush and stuff that we had before. I'm going to probably... I'm going to probably end up covering this in dirt and turn it into like a Hugo culture thingy. But I'm not sure yet. 
the hawthorn bush. We were going to take it out, and now I'm thinking I'm probably going to keep it, just trim it really hard. About every five or six years, you kind of have to top them. Uh, oh, that one. Um, about every five or six years, you kind of have to top it a little bit. So, otherwise, they get really, really out of control. So, I'll probably end up doing that this fall, um, is taking the top out of it. There's so much yard work to do. I've learned when it comes to yard work, I've learned the best time of year to do it is in the fall, the spring, and the summer. Or not summer, fall, spring, and winter. Summer time is not a good time to do outside stuff. So this tree here, I'm going to try to keep him. Again, he also is going to get topped. Uh, but I'm, I don't think I'm going to go psycho right away. I think I'm going to take one or two at a time. But I got electric lines up here. And yeah, that can't be like that. So I'll deal with that. And of course, <clears throat> over the shed, this here is way too dense and thick over the shed and the apples are building up on the roof of the shed and then causing it to deteriorate faster. I saved one. This uh, is a perfectly good barrel. I'm gonna turn this barrel into a, uh, basically a big waterer for the chickens. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse it out really, really, really good. Uh, it's already been rinsed out three times as of July 16th, 2019. Uh, it had um, acidic acid in it at 60%, which is basically vinegar. Um, so I'm gonna really, really wash the crud out of it. We're gonna lift it up um, off the ground by a few inches, um, maybe a little bit more. I got some cinder blocks. Maybe I'll pick it up off the ground with some cinder blocks. And then I'm gonna put little uh, watering cups, I think, down below. Um, and then they can water themselves. I'm thinking that's the way I'm gonna do it, is watering cups instead of nipples. But I'm not sure yet. I will definitely figure it out. So I have not been finding, oh, you're over here. I have not been finding any eggs in here. Uh, both of them are, those are both fake eggs. I haven't been finding any in there yet, but I know the birds can get in there. Um, I've seen a couple of the Rhode Islands already in there playing around. What I have been doing though is finding them, oh, again, the ding door didn't get closed. Finding the eggs inside the coop here. Excuse me. Yeah. Inside there on the floor is where I've been finding them. So, uh, one of them about an hour ago made a, hey, I laid an egg sound. They kind of come out and they start singing. So I just thought I would take a look and see if they laid them, anything, and no. They are still pretty young yet. They're 23 weeks old. Um, I don't know which one it is. One of the Rhode Islands is laying eggs, but I don't know which one. Those are the blocks, by the way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get four, I got four of those. I'm gonna lay them down and then I'm going to end up putting the water barrel on top of them. But I'm not going to lay them on top of the wood chips. I'm going to lay them on the ground. So I'm going to have to get a few more. So they've been doing a lot of this recently. Digging holes. That just started. The digging holes. So I'm kind of excited. They to see them start doing something with the dirt and playing. Because they haven't been doing that. These two here are like challenging each other. <laughs> ow! Oh, ow! That hurt. <clears throat> I was not.
not expecting that. One of them girls decided to peck my foot. Got me right on the bone. I'm wearing sandals. Oh yeah, don't wear sandals in a chicken coop. There are some rabbits. These are the two that we're keeping. These two girls. And I'm going to try to either find a home for this one. Or this one is going to freezer camp. I'm not sure yet. We've been talking about freezer camp. And this guy... This guy is a Finnish giant. I don't know if you can, how well you can see him. But he is so cute. He knows he's a boy because he's sprayed up around the up at the walls and stuff. But uh, he's my, my breeding buck. He'll be breeding with these two girls over here. So there's them. And then I'm going to build another cage here. Actually, it'll be, it'll be divided, so there'll be two cages here, one, two, and that'll be for the breeder, the breeding bucks, or uh, does, the does will be over here. This cage is going to go up, and there'll be another one just like it underneath for my grow outs. And, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of excited to get into that. We will probably do that in the spring, I'll probably... Probably about no, see, probably December, January, probably January, we'll breed them out and uh, and start doing that. The um, the winter time is not the best time to um, breed rabbits. Um, the babies usually die because it's too cold. Because mom's almost never in the nest with them, so. Okay, well, I just thought I would come out in the backyard and give you guys a little tour and a little walk around. Um, haven't seen you guys in a long time. I just thought, you know, it would probably be real nice to, to share what's been going on with you guys. Uh, this pile of stuff. Yeah, that's on my project list. I moved some of the wood that was over there and made a new pile over there. I still have to done this or that or oh, all this wood on the ground here. It's all got to be stacked over there. What's stacked here has got to be moved over to the fence. This stuff's got to get cut up. And I think we're going to be allowed to start burning again next week. Um, right now the the burn ban thing is at a moderate, but they usually wait about two weeks after they switch it over to moderate before they start letting us burn. So, yeah, hopefully they let us burn here soon. But anyways, that's it. Uh, I got some buckets here. I'm going to dump them into those so I can have the empty buckets because in a couple of days, um, I'm going to have to take all these buckets. In a couple days, I've got to go and get some dirt from my dad's house. He's got a bunch of sand and stuff that he's going to give me. So I'm going to fill these two buckets up first and then start filling the ones out there and get that project going. Um, I also have um, a bunch of my dirt. If you remember, I had those... I don't know where they went. I had those black, buck, or black containers at one point in time. Um, full of dirt and that dirt came from the Rose Lake uh, Elk Ranch. Oh, well, my buddy is moving in October and I got to go to his house and get all of my buckets and my dirt and stuff back and bring them over here and that's what I'm going to use for the majority of these barrels and I'll still probably need more. Um, the thing about filling barrels and dirt is you always need more so I'll, I'll end up getting more I gotta have gotta have lots of dirt I can't dig down into the soil here because it's like riverbed so um trying to trying to dig anything in here is pretty much impossible so gotta bring it in gotta bring in the good soil so all right until next time bye for now